Welcome to Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people like to welcome you all to the show. Now, I know it's been a while, right? But I had to bring Brother Krishna back on the show, bro. And, and let me explain why it's been a while, because... In the uh, we're in the midst of putting together Everyday People Part Four. Make sure y'all go on YouTube and check out Everyday People the movie Part One, Two, and Three. And we in the um and and Brother Krishna, you check him out on uh he's playing uh an artist by the name of Low Key. And make sure y'all check it out, check the movie out, and uh we in the in the pursuit of finishing it up Part Four. But Brother Krishna, welcome back to the show, bro. What's going on, brother? Black. Ah, man, it's definitely going, man. It's like I like I know the people. They they thirsting and thriving for this knowledge, and they know once we get together and bring them that information, they know that it's going to be something uh, well deserved, and something that they ready to receive that information, that knowledge, something they can build on because the perspective that's given is like none other. Hey, that's what's up. Now, I was, um, matter of fact, you sent me uh, a YouTube video of some information by the Marrakesh Society. Am I correct? Yeah, Marrakesh. Marrakesh. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Marrakesh, because I don't heard Marrakesh, Marrakesh, Marrakesh. Oh, it's, it, but the information. Right. Yeah, it, Marrakesh, you know, because that's the actual nation. Um, now, I'm not the expert on Marrakesh, you know, but that's something, you know, that people can, can Google and utilize, uh, download that Crocodile browser by, uh, I just got hip to him. I'm just starting to learn about the, you know, the two little African, you know, uh, youngsters. I think they were, I think they may have been 12. They were very young whenever they created the browser and it's a phenomenon, you know, um, and, you know, they, I was told and I'm seeing people saying that it's actually better than the standard, like the Google Chrome's, and it's actually surpassed that in terms of just the efficiency of it, you know. So, you know, okay. people need to download that ASAP. I just, I just heard about it literally um, in the last couple of days, and I've, I've already started using it, you know, um, immediately. And it's called the Crocodile? Crocodile Browser. Crocodile, Crocodile. Browser. Yeah, Crocodile Browser, and people can Google that if they want to, you know, make sure that they get the correct app for their phone. Oh, come on, man. That, that That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. definitely building. Uh, now, it, now, first first of all, I want to go into, uh, and I want to set the, 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 set the tone. I want to give the people a visual of why things are the way they are today based on the information from the Mary Kush Society that the young brother gave today. Um, it was profound because this is um, one of the few that pinpoint uh, the, the, the problem to an exact science and where things stemmed from. And while we're going through what we're going through today, uh, things such as uh, uh, your badge, uh, uh, it, depending on, say, if you were a darker skin in nature, you'd get stopped and asked where you was going versus for a lighter skin who could freely move around through the Americas in certain cities. But at the same time, uh, you could be distinguished as a, a free black um who didn't a free black who could move freely based on uh nationality which he went back to the sundry act of uh to 1791 1790 1791 the sundry act and that act basically was the the moors who were in america was tired of getting stopped and harassed and treated. And so they appealed and said, hey, you can't treat me a certain way. Uh, this is my land. I'm a Moor. Uh-huh. You know, and, and that let, but see, okay, hold up. But then look, traffic stops. You had to have a pass to 
uh, move about uh, like on a plantation. You you off the plantation, they want to know you got your pass on you, the paddy rollers, the you know what um, where your pass at. Okay, well that stems on in today as he stated with the driver's license. Uh, let me see your pass. Uh, uh, how we was being dealt with as far as interest rates, and uh, you, they, and they they actually had a right to charge you more because you was black, and it didn't matter the shade of your blackness, light skin black, dark skin black, automatically you you, you gonna get the high interest, right? You know, and 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 that explained a a lot, and meaning that as Solomon stated. There's nothing new under the sun. Nothing new under the sun. So, uh, brother, brother, Krishna, this is what I actually want uh, you to expound on um, is, is there, once you've been conditioned, and we've been conditioned under his rulership, now I say from, uh, from 1555, as it's noted, Coming over here on the first slave ship, Jesus, uh, but it, but in Texas now, history I'm finding out that slavery in Texas only went from 1845 to 1865. I don't know how much indoctrination you can you can do a lot in 20 years because the 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 system is still in play. But how can uh, we beat a system that's been in play for over? Four hundred and fifty years. Well, it's not about beating it. Just like they showed in Bleach, in one of the later episodes when Ichigo was in his subconscious and he was battling an advanced version of himself, is instead of actually attacking it, what he learned is that he actually had to let that aspect of self run him through. With his sword in this particular instance, just for the symbolism, he basically absorbed it. He mm. absorbed. So it's not about beating, it's about absorbing what needs to be absorbed and, you know, getting rid of the, you know, the shit that we don't have a, a necessity for, you know. Right. So, and, mm-hmm. no, uh, quick, uh, quick, uh, so are you saying that we can, we have the power to manifest our own destiny? Up, uh, even under oppression, or is oppression just a state of mind that we keep putting ourselves up under? Yeah, I mean, we created the spirit of oppression, you know, um, and I mean, we created all things, you know. Um, in Hinduism, they have this concept of Brahma and the breath of Brahma would be the equivalent to the creation story and the inhale of Brahma would be the equivalent to you know, the opposite of that manifestation that we call creation, you know so the breath, the, the exhale of Brahma being creation is uh, the masculine principle which is projecting reflecting and the inhale which is going back into that darkness. You know, we come out of the womb, triple stage darkness, right. uh, three trimesters of birth. Um, that inhale, going back home, you know, we can liken that to the unconscious, you know, or subconscious realm. Uh, going back to that blackness uh, is the inhale, which is the feminine principle that absorbs. Right. You okay. know? So you saying that. Hold on. Wait. Okay. So I'm uh, so. Melanin absorbed. Indeed. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, uh, to put it on 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 a on a level, uh, I don't want to say layman's level, but uh, example, uh, it absorbs those sun rays. Right. Get get that vitamin, and 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 it and it and it and it, um, it uh, what's it immunes it, and it strengthens the immune system. Right, indeed, you know, uh, like, you know, Brother Panic has quoted that the melanin comes to the surface to absorb the light from the sun, and that's why the skin darkens. You know, it's that melanin that 
you know, is always represented as a black substance in film right. and book and books, etc. It is that feminine principle, um, and it is, you know, and it corresponds with all things from that black color frequency. Mm, it, it very interesting. So, okay, okay, wait, hold on, okay. So, it seems like, so we do have amnesia because we're not manifesting the strength or we're not manifesting um, uh, our our talents in a sense because we're not seeing the visual of a manifestation of an inner strength of a gift of melanin that we had, we not we must not be producing from a melanin base. I'm, I, I, you know what I mean. As a whole, we, we something we we missing something. Some or or are we missing something? Me, meaning the reason why I said it is, uh, four hundred and fifty years, man. That's a long time. Okay, so we could absorb this whole. Uh, Sphere uh, or this whole uh, experience, right? Right, you know. Uh, 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 mm-hmm. No, I'm saying, or or is there fear? Are we afraid? Well, I think that uh, that's really a question one should ask themselves. Okay, uh, because everything in this reality is a reflection of what's going on inside self. So. Okay. So, you know, we can see those gradual changes happen as the gradual changes happen within us. Okay. As individuals, the person is looking out of their own two eyes and looking at the world, you know, it's they're looking at they're looking at a reflection of what's going on with them. It's telling a story about them. And, you know, um, the more that they can, you know, understand uh, understand self through decoding what they're observing and really being mindful about what they choose to absorb from, you know, this reality, you know, this matrix, this thing that, that we created. And I wanted to build with you on something, Black. Come on, talk to uh, me. Me and uh, Brother Jamal, you know, we, we've been talking about, uh, you know, and everybody go check out his channel, The Gnosis, G-N-O-S-I-S, on YouTube. Right. The Brother book. On Mm-hmm. He got the book, book, the book too. He got the book, you know. Uh, uh, go check that out. I got a copy myself. You know, I'm absorbing it now. You know, the the, the food is is top notch. You know, it's quality. Right. You know, so go check it out. So it's a big book, you know. So it's a lot of food, uh, you know, to to take on. You know, so definitely go check that out. It's the lives behind the tides. Right. By by brother Jamal. But 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 can but. but when you talk to him, uh, congratulate him because to share information and knowledge and put it out in a book form, something that that has the potential to last through eons is great. Right. And and to share that gift with the uh, overall uh, public because we need, and you would hear that from um, uh, uh Persons like uh, uh, Dr. Ben and would say scholars, you know, put the information in books. We need more scholars than athletes or, you know, and whatnot. And so it, 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 it it's a good thing to where some prayers have been answered when you have uh, a young, a young person who feels the need and cares enough to put information in a book form so those can gather that information and apply it and use it in their lives. That's a big feat. Indeed. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, but and but the title of the book? The, live, the Lies Behind the Tives. You know, okay. they can just Google that. Um, I think it's on Amazon, all on platforms. Okay, and 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 a quick synopsis of it. Man, it's a lot of different okay. subjects in, in there, man. Uh, you know, he does go into the 
history, you know, dealing with Gnosticism, Christianity, you know, the mm -hmm. tithes and what it means okay. spiritually and, okay. you know, and that's things the, and that, but it's, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get it, and, and that's the Gnostic versus, that's the Gnostic versus Constantine. You said the Gnostic versus what now? Const, Const, Constantine. Constantine. Constantine is, you know, the, the Nicene Creed. Right, right, in Rome. In Rome. But and, uh, and Nicaea, yeah. Right. Yeah, indeed. And yeah, then, that whole fight, that whole fight, you know, when the Nazis got wiped out. Right. And, uh, you know, the the ideal now, when that goes into, you know, Mira, what Mira Kush, what Cheyenne was talking about, when he was saying that the origin and what is uh, or was, but still currently practice as the mandate, the Christian doctrine of discovery, which is, you know, ties into, uh, if I'm not mistaken, when he was saying that Christopher Columbus, when he came here and he said it, that he discovered America, he actually did. But what they were really saying is he discovered it as the first Christian coming to this particular soil and discovering it and basically saying, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna bring in the other Christians and we're gonna set up shop here. So it, it, it was just a discovery of somebody claiming that particular religion of Christianity, you know. Yeah, and, you, uh, you that right. They that they created in, in 325 AD and, uh, in the count, at the councils of Nicaea between the bishops of Rome and Greece. And Greece. That's why Romans, and all of those figures there in the Bible, because this is basically, it ties right back into the story of the Moors. And because anytime that you hear Romans, you know, that is uh, in the same breath you can speak of, you know, the Moors, because the Moors had, you know, uh, all those universities over there in Spain and South America. Right. And, you know, that's the Italian Sicilians, you know, that whole lineage. And those, and he was speaking on how the Arab and the Berbers is, uh, that's that's all that's all us. that's all west africa right. that's in terms of description of them and then you know um i would even say that it, it could be beneficial just on uh one could get with african ancestry like i did and you know both of my paternal and maternal lineage came back west african so right. you know uh as far as the treaty of peace and friendship with morocco it is is where the Sultan of Morocco was deemed to have uh, jurisdiction and subject over those in West Africa. So if you got that bloodline, you could claim that nationality. That's one way, or yeah. just you know get with whatever uh, you know body of people that you uh, that you really fuck with, you know, and y'all could uh, you know get a you know maybe perhaps a Sufi order or something together, and y'all could. You know, basically do your business from there. You know, right, right. Yes, definitely, definitely. You can, but but couldn't you? But see, that this is the thing, though. This is what gets me right. It don't really, it don't, it, it doesn't get me. But the thing is that I am that I am. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you know, so okay, I'm man. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? Me in the sense of. Hey, I'm, I'm, yes, uh, I'm one, uh, worthy of praise and one praise much. I'm one who seeks peace. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm one who, uh, stands upright. Uh, so I don't have any, as we were stating earlier, I don't have no obstacles. So we rolling. You know what I mean? I don't know. It, it's see the, the the thing that the thing that in, in, interests me is that is uh, there was something we was talking about earlier too. Man, I uh, said too much on. But the thing that interests me is the fact that okay, so that those are combining two principles as above, so below. But it say in the the the, the Bible that we don't war against flesh and blood, but spiritual weakness in high places, as in the mind, as above. So below, meaning that I can have a, a vision of a, a thought of of a projection of 
what I'd like to see, but but do I have to where they would say till the ground or create the uh the space or the room for me to build on 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 below? You mean on me you see what I'm saying? On the actual surface, on the ground. You know? I want say I wanna say uh in my mind I vision me a row of tomatoes. And I see those tomatoes. I mean, I see the the redness. How I see how I want it to be sweet tomatoes, right? Sun ripe tomatoes, right? Right. So now I'm on this ground. I gotta correlate the two. And then so some get caught up. You right in. I want to correlate the ground, but yet I got oppressor telling me. You 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 better not put a shovel in this dirt and dig nothing to plant no tomato plants. But my mind telling me I need me some tomato plants. You know, so what 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 do I do? Do 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 I obey men or do I obey God or my higher self? Oh, um, and you know where I'm getting this from though, huh? What's that? Uh, I just watched uh, the Black Klansman the other day in the sense, and it was kind of saying that you know they 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 tug a warring with uh, what what direction or what needs to be done. You know they get going back and forth, but but I'm understanding from 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 talking to you, um, no that that higher consciousness that that spirit self. Is where you should put your focus and attention on versus the um, the material. Am I correct right. or am I reading you right? Uh, uh, so that's that goes back to what I was gonna say. Me and uh, brother brother Jamal been building on you know the connection of the mundane to the majestic. Okay, and how. You know these mon, you know what would be called mundane goals that people that people have can um, it can be the very thing that can inspire a person to actually tackle all the things that they may be putting to the side and procrastinating on. And I've been looking for a formula for a good little minute for this procrastination thing. And I was uh, talking to El Cristo Negro and. The epiphany came, and this is, you know, something that you know is is work for me is working for me currently, and um, you know it's been it's been a good little minute since you know the spirit of inspiration is actually uh, been here on this level. Come so, on, you know, for, for any, I mean, regardless of how mundane the goal may be, it doesn't matter. Right. If it's going to inspire a person to be able to tackle all the things that they want to, that they they have on their list that they want to take care of, then it's the that's what a divinity is. Well, how it's long? Connect- right. I'm sorry. I, I'm about to ask you how long was the path you had to endure to get to the point to where you for for the realization of where you at now. It's been some years since I've had this level of inspiration. So, you know, it, it comes, this, this level of, of the spirit of inspiration comes when, like, major, major things come into play. You know, so um, I felt like this before my son was born when I was studying every day, uh, preparing for his arrival. Uh, there was times in music for years where I had that level of inspiration, you know, to go hard every single night, you know. And now... You know, just dealing with different things in business, this is, um, or whatever, you know, my goals may be, that um, I have, you know, uh, found the inspiration to be able to do these things, you know, whether it's mundane, inspired or not, it doesn't, it doesn't matter just as long as it gets the job done. Right, and the reason why I asked that question is so many people give up or quit before they reached their goals, and it's good to hear somebody say, "Man, look, it took me two years to get to this point, but you kept driving forward, and that's that's the bigger picture. That's the that's an example because we all learn by you know different methods. Some visual, some you gotta hear. Some need an example, and they need to hear from someone that you know a true testament 
on, keep moving. You know, it might not come in a three weeks or three months, six months, a year and a half. It might take two, it might take three, but keep pushing till you get that epiphany, I guess is what they call it. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah, man, we appreciate you sharing that, bro. Yeah, see, that's the power. Now, that's true power right there. That's energy. That's power. Good. Yeah. So, but look, look, one one thing, though, before we uh, wrap it up, right? Yeah. Uh, just we want to touch back because you, I just want to see the reason why. Okay. Now, check this out. I don't know if you checked out Oprah's Green Leaf, right? Did you have you? Okay, anyway, Oprah, Oprah got an episode called Greenleaf, but she is basically showing all the inner workings of the church, the church and all the scandals that that's um, that that takes place. But she has a, a her symbol. She has a visual of a slave ship that's going directly into the church. And there's some symbolism behind that. Half the slave ship is outside the church, the other half in the church. You know, and, and when you look at it, it's like, wow, you know, we we either up under a spell or we under something that was constructed for us by the slave master or what they say uh, by the enemy. You know, we tied. I mean, we, we wrapped up in it. But it makes sense when you look at when you were stated earlier that when uh, Columbus came here, he was the first Christian. So he did discover in their eyes America because he brought forth the or established the, the 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 creed of Christianity in America, and they start building on that, and then they taking edicts from the Pope saying you can do this, do this. Well, of course I can do this, do this because I'm a Christian, and this is our rules, and we got the guns and the weapons. Who gonna stop us? Mm, interesting, man. That was, it was heavy, bro. Um, I don't know where they can go and check that out. Um, uh, uh, um, they can, um, uh, they can just go on YouTube and, uh, type in Miracush, M U R A K U S H, and, you know, go check out, you know, the videos that got up there in regards to the law of the system. And yeah. it breaks down. If, if if anybody wants to know the origin of where all this this occurred recently, all the way up to present day, then they are able to provide a in, intensely detailed to the T how this whole thing is is popping off when it comes to the inner workings of how the machine works, how it's really working, not based on somebody's opinion or somebody's emotion, you know, but, you know, the actual in detail what's going on and how the system is working. That's a fact. Fact. That, I mean, I vouch for I, I mean, I'm glad you shared that with me because I, I, I had no idea. And when I watched it, I'm like, wow, man, it answered a lot of questions. Uh, yeah, it answered a lot of questions. Any, any, anything on your your mind you want to build though? Or, 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 yeah, just, yeah, just last thing I say on on this whole spirit of inspiration thing, I say that uh, you know, for us to you know be within creation and have things to you know going through change, you know, melanin is always changing, so. It is in alignment with our very body, our constitution, when it comes to change. And um, what we call goals are places where we can go and aspire to for change. Okay. And uh, that that alone, if it's a big enough change or if it's a change that matters that much to you as an individual, and it's going to inspire you to, you know, do all the things that you want to do anyway, then no no time to waste. Go ahead and go for it. Mm-hmm. And, and, and while doing it, that's when your more epiphanies will come, <laughs> more major breakthroughs will come, and, you know, all those things that, you know, everybody is, you know, out here praying and divining for, you know, it'll come in more abundance when a person is, 
in alignment with that spirit of inspiration based on goals and, uh, you know, more of that magic that you're working to come through strong for you and uh, those bright ideas, et cetera, you know. That's, that's one of those keys. Look, those who, who are listening, he just gave you a key. I, and, and I hope you understand what I mean when I say you have a key. Uh, so go unlock those rusty locks and get moving. That was the key. Well, you know, and we, I appreciate that, you know, sharing that. On, I appreciate you sharing it on Verbal Pig Radio because you not, <laughs> yeah, this is the only place you're going to get stuff like that from. I'm trying to tell you how, man. The only place you're going to get the real, man. That Because, you know why? I'm going to tell you why. I, this is what I think, though. This is what I think, man. This is what I think. It's like Pac said. We, we might fight amongst each other. But you know what I'm saying? And basically, we'll come. Texas, Houston, whatever. We, 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 we'll come together. Uh, we we want to see the real. Uh, just like Jay Prince said in, in his uh, book. Well, in the interview, he was talking about in Houston, the big thing is respect. As long as we respect each other, everything is fine. It's just we don't tolerate disrespect. We not worried about all that. Just respect me, I respect you, and life is good. You know what I mean? And when a person can want to see people do good without uh, any hitting agendas who can give information freely to say, hey, man, I want to see you thrive. I want to see you. I might. I don't even know you. You know, male, female, don't know you, but I don't. But I want to see you reach your goals. And if I got something that I might help you and, you know, through my journey along the way, I don't mind sharing it. You know what I mean? Take this jewel and run with it. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, Brother Christian. Man, appreciate you. Nah, that's, that's real. That's real out there, man. If, if, if y- y'all might hear cars rolling by, man. Uh, he out on the cut, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he took he took time out, man, just to do this interview with me, man. So we blessed over here at Verbal Pick, man. And we definitely we appreciate that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I heard it was a wild night out there, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, we just, we're walking around the phone, you yeah. know, and it's, uh, it's, it's a movie. That's what, that's what much love. <laughs> Yeah, much love to the four four acres home, man. That's uh, that's what it said. Well, hey, Verb Pick Radio. Till next time, man. Y'all stay up. We got anything you want to add before we catch out of here. Shit, that's it, love. Man, that's what's up. We at.